This new facility is hugely exciting. It's a world-leading facility because we're going to be opening one of the two national proton beam services for the country. Hugely important if you're a family with a young child who needs this treatment, but you don't have to uproot your whole family and go abroad. It's been a huge joint project from many, many people, clinical teams, operational teams, building teams. At the very start of the project, the management take the time to explain and brief all the staff that this project was a special project because it saved life and it really focused everybody that we had to deliver in time. For Brig, uh, constructing this uh, proton beam therapy unit in this area of London brought several challenges. All PBT projects across the world, this construction happens at ground floor. Here the Trust has decided to put this proton beam therapy at six floors downstairs. So we had to do this massive excavation in the middle of London, in the congested area, close to highways, close to the party wall, near the Northern Line tube. We were 10 meters away from one of the tubes. We didn't have a proper logistic platform just adjacent to the site, so we had to build one above our site. 400 square, square meter platform, which is actually the final ground floor slab built on temporary columns, so that we dig below and would provide logistical access so for storage, for delivery. My role is to make the thing happen on site with the workers, is to prepare a team, review the method, review the planning, the budget, and uh, make sure I can do it. The excavation was a challenge to excavate 1,000 cubic meters of soil every day. It's around 120 lorries, so it's one lorry every seven minutes. To support the retaining wall, we had to install very large section of steel strutting. And the strutting design was a difficult challenge due to the shape of the excavation itself. And after that, we started the basement foundation of the PBT. 35 tons of steel to be installed per day. We had the, all the manpower from WIG UK, all the supervision. And with the combination of WIG TP and the, the skill of construction, we had a good, uh, a good result. This proton beam therapy structure is close to the nuclear construction to protect from radiation. Those walls are roughly between 2 and 4 meters thick as a slab as well. And they contain lots of conduits for the process of the therapy. So there is between 7 and 8 kilometers of embedded conduits in the concrete. So now we have to prepare the, the access for the massive crane coming, the 750 ton crane, for the main delivery, the uh, cyclotron. Protons are charged particles produced from a particle accelerator and in our case from our cyclotron. The cyclotron is on a 400 mile journey starting in Germany and finishing here in London. I've been brought on board on the project to uh, ensure the coordination between Vion and WIG UK activity. We are running smoothly. As a lot of people will tell you in the construction industry, it's all about communication. Our tower crane can lift up to 12 tons the one we're installing at the moment, the 750 ton mobile crane, will lift the cyclotron, which is about 90 tons. That crane coming onto the ground floor slab is a challenge in itself because you would never design a building to allow for such loadings. So we've had a lot of work into designing it to make it work. Its outrigger must be positioned on the columns below with an accuracy of 10 centimeters. If we fail to comply with that, the columns will not bring the loads down to the raft 28 meters below. The cyclotron should arrive on site around 2 a.m. We'll open the gates, park it on the pit lane and wait until 8 o'clock. Then we will start unpacking the cyclotron and the pole caps because they come in massive steel frame encasement to ensure it's well protected during transport and then it will take the whole morning to get them ready for lifting. Cyclotron hatch is 4.8 meters square. The cyclotron is 4.5 meters wide. So we've got a bit of wiggle room, but not that much. The cyclotron epitomizes the proton beam arrival. This is a fantastic moment. We've been working many years to get to this point and it now feels that the end point, i.e. patient delivery, is tangible and will happen in 2020.